time. So you got your ball ready to go. Hopefully you're a little bit awake. If not, you will be soon. Got your ball. Sort of closing the door. All right. So we've got some uh, some lunges here with the ball. And what we're doing with the ball on this is we're just holding it. We're just holding the ball over our head. And when we're holding it over our head, we're just trying to maintain uh, our posture. Now, you got a problem if you got a small ceiling like me. I mean, I got a it's kind of tough for me to hold the ball over my head. So when I'm holding a ball over my head, I'm actually going to use a medicine ball. That way I'm not running into my ceiling and just getting frustrated the entire time. But when you've got a ball holding it overhead like this, all right, and we're going to be doing some lunges. And when we do our lunges, our goal is to not lean forward with the ball. We don't want to lean forward. We want to keep the ball directly over the hips, which is directly over the the head and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to do some step back lunges and we're going to do 30 total. So 30 lunges where we step back, keep the ball overhead. You use the big ball if you can. I prefer that because your hands would be wider. If you don't, you can use a medicine ball or a shoe. All right, here we go. We're doing 30. I go down, I come back up. I just make sure I don't stay at the top too long. That's three, that's four. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm keeping the, the ball, sorry, my biceps by my ears. It would be 13, 14. Now I'm also trying to make sure that I don't let my belly round out in front. I want to pull my belly into my ribs as I'm going, especially on the way down. During the movement parts, I don't want my stomach to round out in front. I've got eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so I got my ball here. Again, I'm hoping to use this ball. If you can. All right, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a squat, tap the ball on the ground, I'm gonna go up, and then go up on my tiptoes from the ball over my head. Again, I'm using this one because the ceiling's too low. So I go down, tap the ball, go up, and then I go up on my toes. And I hold that for 1,000 counts. Got it? So when I go down, I don't go down like this. I drop straight down. The ball lines up. My elbows are in, be in between my knees. Okay? I'm not even in front of my knees. My knees are in front of my elbows. Use the big ball or a med ball. Down. Up to my tiptoes. Down. Up to my tiptoes, two, and three. We're doing 24. That's four. That's five, six, seven, that's eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now as I go, I'm making sure when my arms go up, my head ends up in front of my arms. And make sure that I don't end up here. I head from the arms, hold the belly in, 
upward and into the ribs. Okay, that's time that we got our chin ups. We got chin ups, palms facing. We're gonna go for about 45 seconds. We're not holding the top this time too long. Should be somewhere between seven and 12. Seven and 12. Chin ups, let's go. It's time. We've got our one-legged skaters. One-legged skaters here. So this is week number one. And on week number one, we need to take a little more time talking and teaching. So my skaters, I'm kind of just halfway down on one leg. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing my arms and I stay halfway down. I don't stand up and then go down right now. And I swing my arm. I give my balance, I'm down on this leg. Well, here I am actually leaning forward a little bit. I'm not bent over, but I am leaning forward. We're gonna do 40. We have 40 total. So I'm here, I'm gonna go, there's one, and there's two, and three, and four, you just keep up with me. Ish. Five, six, and I stay halfway. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I stay halfway down. Fifteen, fourteen, fifteen. I use my arms. And you notice I'm holding each side for about a one count. Because this is a partial balance move. We don't want you guys jumping back and forth. Want a good open chest. Fingers are spread out in front of the sternum. You're halfway down in that squat. You gotta hold that balance. When you go, you explode off your whole foot, not your toes. Again, we're halfway down. Just stay that way. Three, two, one more. There we go. All right, we got our ball again. We've got a wall sit. So we did wall squats last time. We were doing squats. Now we're just going to go down and hold a wall sit. All right, how do you want to do it? With your arms, I don't care. Just not this. All right, let's go. Now, that being said, if you need to do this to figure out which height you actually sit at, you're like, all right, well, when my hands hit my legs, my knees, then I'm at my right height and then I can just sit there and hold it. If you're good, you go up into streamlines. You go to a one arm streamline, pull your arms out, arms on the front. Right, but with this height, then I want you to just raise your height up a bit, not standing, but just halfway up. Just hold it. And we're going to go right back down to where your hands can round over the front of your knees and then get your hands off your legs. Just hold this. Talk about it. Right. All right. We're going to hold this for about another 15 seconds. And then we're going to go do pull ups. So you got 10 more seconds. If you're starting to do this and take little breaks, shame on you, stop it. Don't do that. Time. All right. We've got pull ups. 
we've got just a regular pull up, hands away, and seven to 12. Seven to 12, that's your number. If you have to use the ground or use a chair to get to seven, you do it. Go. All right, time. We've got our ball. It's one of my least favorite things right here. All right, we got the ball. We got our back foot up on the ball. You can have your foot rolled over or you can be up on your toes. I honestly just don't care. Step the foot out in front. All right, and we got a single leg lunge. The back foot on the ball. Preferably your knee doesn't go over your toes. So you gotta sort of do the splits before you start that first one. We're gonna do, uh, what, 15 each? Yikes. All right, 15 each. Let's go. And then keep the hands out in front of you to help keep those, kind of like the old binocular thing. So four. Uh, now I'm actually using the wall. Help myself bounce because I don't want to fall on the face. But this is just as much balance as it is strength. I've got four, three, two, one. I'm switching to the other side. Other leg is up, foot on ball. You can go here or here, it doesn't matter. I gotta step out wide, like I'm doing the splits, and then I begin. I got one, two, three, sort of. Four, and I'm not even going all the way down. I'm just going about halfway down. Because this is a balance movement. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. All right, so stick with the ball. I'm doing glute bridges. We're just going to go the double leg variety now instead of the single leg. All right, but on this glute bridge, I've got my feet on the ball, sorry, my calves on the ball. I'm going to have to raise my hips up. All right, and I hold my hips up the whole time. I don't let my hips drop. But I roll the ball towards my butt. When I do, I've got to make a straight line from my knees to my shoulders. All right, I roll it in and hold. Extend and roll right back in. I can hold the in, I don't hold the out. All right, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're doing 16, by the way. Nine, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, that's that. All right, we've got pull-ups, and I'm looking for hands close, not touching, okay, close. So the last ones you did are more regular, sort of here, hands are just, just about shoulder width apart. You get seven to 12. 
7 to 12. Close grip pull ups. Use the ground if you have to. Use a chair. Let's go. All right, we've got, we've got our single leg wall sit. Later in the morning, so switches. All right, we're gonna do our wall sit with one leg in the air. So I get down with my ball, I get down, and we're gonna do 10 seconds on each leg, three times for a minute. So I'm here, I'm ready, I'm set. And I raise one leg up. And I just hold this for 10. All right, I'm in a wall sit position. I got three, two, switch over to the other leg. Raise the heel, pull the toes in. And I've only got three, two, and then I switch. One leg. And five seconds left on this leg. And switch. And hold. Three, two, other leg one more time. Hold one more time on this leg, and we got one more time on the other leg. Four, three, switch over last time. time. Okay, here we go. I'm down on the ground. Now, these are our, I'm laying on my back. It actually feels kind of good. So I'm laying on my back here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise myself off of my heels and my shoulder blades. Notice my butt's off the ground, my back's off the ground, shorts and chirp sagging. I'm going to hold, and we're just going to do about a 45 second isometric on that. Okay, when I do that, I'm trying to feel it in my hamstrings. So try to engage those muscles. All right, let's go ahead and up and lift and hold. So I'm here. I've got just the slightest flex in my knees just to make sure that I can engage my hamstrings not just my glutes. Now my glutes are still gonna be working, aka the butt, but if I have just a slight flex in my knees, I can get the hamstrings to, uh, to engage there, and I want the hamstrings to engage. I'm also not rounding my belly, I'm trying to keep mildly straight from my hips to my shoulders, as opposed to trying to make a rainbow and then hurting my back. So I'm just holding this. Just about 15 more seconds. Just a nice symmetric. Five seconds. In time. All right, that's round one. Guess what? We'll do it again. This time we'll go a little bit quicker because you should have some sort of memory of the moves. Okay. We'll do. Uh, just another 30 seconds to kind of reset. Use your big ball if you've got one with tall enough ceilings. I don't, so I'm using a small ball so I don't keep running into the ceiling. And I like the big ball for the, the wider stability option as opposed to the smaller. About 10 more seconds. And then we'll go round two, go quicker. And that's it, just two rounds. All right, we got 30 step back lunges. 
with a ball. Someone showing up. A little bit, a little bit late. She got kicked off. All right, step back one just with the ball. Here we go. Third, uh, yeah, 30 of them. Here we go. Got one, two, three, four. Keep the ribs, pull it in. Seven. Got our squats, the cab raise. I'm still sticking with my little ball. Recommend the long, big ball for you guys. And my squat, my elbows are going inside my knees here, not in front of my knees. Please don't miss that detail. And then to a calf raise, 24 total. Me down. Up on my toes, one, down. Up on my toes, two, down. Up on my toes, three, down. Up on my toes, four, down. Up on my toes, five, down. Up and hold six, down. Up and hold seven, down. Up and hold eight, down. Up and hold nine, down. Up and hold ten, down. Hold 11 down. Hold 12 down. Up and hold 13 down. And hold 14. Remember, the ball goes inside the knees. Go ahead, 16. So took my time. Up and hold 17. Up and hold 18. Hold 19. Up and hold 20. 21, we got 24 total. 22. 23. Up and hold. 24. All right, we got chin ups. Give 7 to 12. 7 to 12. Don't do 2. Don't do 6. Use a chair. Use a stretch band. Use the ground. Chin ups. Go. All right, that's time. We've got our single leg skaters. Just like earlier, we stay halfway down. I'm halfway, I'm not all the way, I'm halfway. One second balance on each side. Here we go, use the arms. We go one, two, three, open chest, four, Five, six, seven. I stay halfway the whole time. Nine, I don't come up and do a rainbow jump. 10, straight line over, straight line back. 12, 13, and hold. 14, and hold. 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, halfway, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, stay halfway down, 
28, 29, 30, 31, 2. And again, we're doing the hold. This is a balance component. This isn't just going back quick. Balance and control. Four, three, two, last one. Done. All right, grab your ball, get to the wall. Let our wall sit. Wall sit. Here we go. And I'm down. Get the hands in front of the knees to make sure I'm low enough. I'm going to get them off the legs. Go behind the back. Behind the back is good because you can, it's hard to have bad posture when your hands are behind your back. It's not impossible. It's just tougher. And you come up halfway. Hold halfway up. So my hands are about thigh height. And then I roll back down to where my hands are in front of my knees height. I get my hands behind my back. Chin up, chest open. And I'm just hanging out. I'm going to see you again. For 15 more seconds. Five more seconds. That's time. All right, we got pull-ups. Now these are wider grip pulls. So the hands are a little wider than the shoulders. A little wider than the shoulders. Pull-ups. Seven to twelve. Keep giving me numbers. If you're going over twelve, you should spend a little more time hanging. If you're going under twelve. You've got to find a way to use an assist band, the floor, a stool, a chair. You have to be getting up to your numbers. Just make them lighter. Don't do fewer. Make them easier. So, Time. All right. We got who? The least favorite move. We've got our ball with the foot on lunge with the foot on the ball. So put your foot on the ball. Set it up. You gotta get that front foot kind of out there. Like you do the splits. We're doing 15 and 15. Let's go. Now one. And two, three, four. I'm using the wall to balance myself. And when I have to. All my days not on the horizon, just a little bit, a bit lower than the horizon. I'm only going about halfway down. Not going all the way down. Three, two, one, and I switch. Other leg. Pop the front foot out. And I'm going. I'm going one, two, three, I'm only going halfway. Six. Seven. Eight. I'm also going to spend a lot of time at the top. Twelve. Thirteen. 
14, 15. All right, break's over. Here we go. I'm on the ball. Feet are up on the ball, on my back. We've got our 16 glute bridges on the ball. Again, at all times, I keep a straight line between my knees and my shoulders. This bend at the hips, that can't actually be happening on these. You guys who are doing these wrong. So I'm doing 16. Let's go. I got one, two, three, and hold. Four, five, six. So I'm always driving the hips forward. Eight. Nine, always jump the hips forward. Ten, never let the hips drop. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, we've got, darn it, last set of pulse for the day. Last set of pulse for the day. We've got our pull ups with a little closer grip, just a hair inside the shoulders. 7 to 12. Whatever it takes to get to those ranges. 7 to 12. Keep going. Time. Two moves. Two moves. We'll be in and out of here in 35 minutes. All right, got the ball, got the wall. We got our single legged wall sit for one minute. Single leg, here we go. Down, up, and hold. 10 seconds to switch three times through. This is. I'm going to switch to my other leg. Then I switch to my other leg. Go hands behind the back again. I'll keep that chest open. Open posture. I'll switch. Switch. Last leg. Switch. Might be a bonus 10, I don't remember. I don't really care. It's time. All right. Last move. Isometric hamstring hold. This is it. We're going to do this for, I don't know what we did for, like 40 seconds last time. Damn. Too much knee bend. No knee bend. We're just, this is about as much knee bend. Right there, that's it. Like, doesn't look like much. It's not. It's just, just enough to be bouncing. Forty seconds. Up and hold. Let's go. Trying to isolate hamstrings. Not isolating the glutes. Isolating the hamstrings and holding. So, tiny amount of knee bend. No arch in the back. The back should be. Flat. In fact, if you want to pull your stomach in as opposed to pushing your stomach out, to help flatten that back out. And the balance is on the shoulder blades. 
not the neck. About 15 seconds of hold. And five seconds. And drop. And that is it. 30, 34 minutes, 45 seconds. We'll round that up to 35. Um, I got nothing, guys. Hey, it's Monday. We'll see you in the evening. That's all we got. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.